I have a question about the standard dress forms armhole. Uh, where is the perfect place for armhole marking in all sizes of dress forms? Do we use the standard cross back and front length and the width of the marking? Is there, if there is a standard measurements, where can I get this information please? In all sizes, thank you so much. Do you know how do you get this uh, information? You basically, every dress form that you are buying, they do have a, a measurements charts. And those measurements charts are actually very detailed measurements chart they have. Uh, there is not per, super standardized uh, sizes because each dress form uh, or each brand has different, not too much, like let's say size, size four in one dress form brand, like professional dress form with the other one, it, it is possibly will be different in one centimeters or one and a half centimeters around the waist. One is have a little, they, they claim their, their customers, their clients are closer to this size. So always, there is always a little change in about one and a half centimeters. So not all the size twos all around the world the dress form is going to be the exact same size of the waist. No, it will be a little different. Some of them going to be one centimeter or two centimeters, not five or six, seven, but uh, will be a little bit different than the other dress forms. So whatever dress forms, wherever you are buying from, you have to go to look at their measurements charts. And, uh, but, if you just want to have a general idea, you can just search for female dress form measurement charts. It will pop up in the Google for you in a different, you know, and all those places who are selling the dress forms, uh, just because they have that, it will pop up on the, you know, web, you know, on the Google and you will, you can find it. But again, I will post one two or three on the po after finishing the this uh, live session i can just put it there so you can do the measurements but again about the placement of the armhole i will give you a demo after i'm going through the questions because i think somebody else asked those two and i will give you little demo on how to find out your armhole especially if you do not have this me metal plate on your side of the dress forms I know it can be a little confusing. I will help you out with that. This area, you want to find out this uh, armhole, right? Let's take this uh, off. If you do have this plate, if you do have this plate, and you are not doing this for yourself, you are doing it just finding your, uh, your dress form uh, arm uh, hole, right? So usually if you do have this plate is very close to the plate, you just go one centimeter around here and from here down, you go two or three centimeters down. I think two centimeters or two and a half centimeters, which is about one inch below is where, let's say, if you have a plate, on your dress form one centimeter here and no two centimeters here and about one centimeters around here and the shoulder point and the back okay this is the easiest one when you have the plate let's say you do not have the plate this is where it usually gets confusing. I understand it. So how do we measure that? So you find your bust line. This is from, it has to pass through your apex, right? And goes to the side. So this is a horizontal line that passes through your apex straight and your center front goes to the side. From here up, you want to have 
at least one inch. If you go from here up one inch, okay, this is your underarm on your side seam. And let's say you do not have any of these, right? This is like a flat white or something, so you don't really, you cannot see it. From your neck, guys, when you are doing your neck, don't go too high. Think about here. Do you see this, well, here, this point? This is where you hit your neckline for the round neckline, for the basic bodies. It should not be here. It should be here, around here. And this is, this is my, where my neckline. It's not here. It's not here. It's right here. And it should be kind of around, nicely around here. So on your dress form, some dress forms necks are a little too different and then others I know. But do you see where, that's why I like this professional dress forms because it is very clear. On some others, they are like very going up uh, like a di uh, diagonal, right? So from these ones, you know it basically has very clear line. This is your neckline. Even this one has a line in here. You just want to go tiny, 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 tiny out and make the round around the neck. But when you have this round neckline from here, from neck point and shoulder point intersection, you want to count about 11 or 12, depends on your dress form. Mine is about four and a quarter. This is the size six though. This is about 11 centimeters. So if you are size, this is size six. If you are going size eight, size 10, little by little, this becomes little bit wider. But you basically, you do, do not want to come where it comes down. Wherever it hits at the point, you do not go to the tip. You come about one centimeter up, not very, very to the tip. You go one centimeter inside of that hard, you know, the corner. And this would be your top of your shoulder point, And you do have this one. So after this, basically it's about your chest. You want to measure your chest. And uh, I do have a taping numbers that uh, I listed on the source under the guides. You can check that out. But when you have the bottom, when you have the top, basically after that, it is making a little egg. You do not want it to make it too wide here because the line, let me take my tape. If you make it, you want this part to be little straight, okay? You do not want to have it on V. And you want this part to be little straight as well, especially on top of your shoulder. You bring it a little closer to them. After this, again, if you do not have the plate, you basically wanted to create the egg shape. It's usually look like this. You are creating kind of a sh egg shape. Okay. 
and kind of like that. So when this is straight here and after that come down, you know, smooth straight down, you do not want to make too much roundness around here. You don't want to do that, okay? You should, on the side of the uh, back, it should look straight. Do you see that? It should look kind of straight. The front piece as well, it should look straight, not too round in here. Especially around here, you don't want to create too much curve. You wanted this to be coming down straight. Basically, after that, you are connecting to this part. And it is about one inch above your bust line. And it should be at the tip, about one centimeter inside of the tip of your shoulder point. And here, you can check out your dress form uh, if you do want the numbers from wherever you bought the dress form. You can go to the, their charts. They probably listed the, their uh, sizes charts because each size will be different uh, numbers and each dress form will have a different uh, measurements a little bit. If you go to the charts of them, their dress forms, they listed. Look at the, basically look at the size measurements of the chest. So that will give you an idea if you are having a hard time to find this. By the way, when you uh, post your pictures of the taping, I will help you out already I will do it but I'm giving you this information for future for you to understand and try to find the solution so from here you measure your chest which is about between your neck and your bust right but it is mostly above your breast above here because this is the where is the meaty part right you want to have it on top so you go here and measure your chest and it is indicates that and the, those numbers are given usually on the dress forms that you bought. Measure that and see if you are in the right place. And this is one, another way to do the solution to make your uh, armhole rounded. If you have any question, if it's not clear for you, just give me, ask me, uh, put it on the comment section so I can give you uh, more information. Other than that, if you have problem, you see still there is a problem, post it on the Facebook. I will help you out with the taping. Hey, Nedani Kui here. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps you on your sewing and dressmaking journey. If you like to create clothes for any shape that fits like a glove without wasting weeks on figuring out the fit issues, I'd like to invite you to check out our online platform called Draping Society. We've got step-by-step -step courses, live stream seminars every week, and we have an amazing worldwide community of like-minded sewists. We also have a unique system we call the Dressmaker's Path. No matter where you are right now on your skill, whether you are a new beginner or working professional, this system is designed to kickstart your progress with a huge impact, while also having a lot of fun along the way. We designed Draping Society as a relaxed year-round workshop that you can follow at your own pace so you are never going to get that feeling of falling behind. On the flip side, you'll never feel held back either. If you wish to become a confident and skillful dressmaker, join us and be amazed by your transformation. Click here or below or just go to drapingsociety.com. I look forward to seeing you inside. Cheers.